Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change your Windows 11 cursor to a Minecraft sword. Let's get into it. Alright, one thing I want you guys to note before we get started is that I did this on Windows 10 already, and the link for that video will be in the description, uh, along with uh, any other links I'll be using in this video. So, let's get into it. So, first thing I'm going to do is head over to your browser, and you're going to go to this link right here. This will be in the description. Uh, just type in it if you want, or just click it in the description. And then once you get there, you just go ahead and go to the gallery and you want to go to the Minecraft cursor just go ahead and search Minecraft cursor in the little bar and there's a bunch of these so you don't have to do this with just uh, the ones, I, ones I'm going to pick for today but there's you know, netherite, there's a bunch of ones people have made um, a lot more than I, I remember from the last time I was on here um, this one's really cool um, so a lot of a lot of cool, <laughs> kind of a lot of weird stuff too uh, but yeah the one I was going to be using is this one right here um, I can't seem to find the one I used uh, previously. I, I if I go back and find it with the link if I wanted to, but this will work for now. Um, so yeah. So once you're ready to find one that you like or one that you want, just click the little download button. It will start downloading, and mine should save to the desktop right here, which I believe that's it. And let's check to see if it's finished. Yep, it's finished. And so once you have this, let's go ahead and extract it. Uh, I right click it and there should be an extract all button that will come up and then just save it where you want it uh, that looks fine for me once it's done it will go ahead and open the folder for you let me just make that a little bigger yeah but here's all the stuff you had in here uh, just like I said X, X2, be like that so um, let's go ahead and move that into there that works and then you want to go over to your settings you want to go to Bluetooth and devices scroll down to mouse let's go down to additional mouse settings and then you'll get your mouse properties menu and yes, yeah, so this is what you'll need right here, uh, pointers, and once you're in the pointer section, you want to go to the browse button, and go ahead and open, uh, you know, to find where your Minecraft, the where you want to find where this folder is, and mine is right here, click open that, and then yeah, you just want to select any of these that you want, so I'm going to open this one, so that's for the normal select, and now for, I don't know, whatever you want, uh, let's see what's in our folder, so I know what we have, so we have a axe, or that's a pickaxe, another axe, spades. So I think what I'm going to do for our normal select that, so let's see. Like I said, the older one I had, there was a lot more. So if you can find maybe one with a lot more, that'd be you know even cooler. But for now, this will work just fine. So text select, I'm going to click that, and then you click browse. I'm gonna do the axe for that, or the pickaxe for that one, and then precision, or which was this one? This one, where is it? Let me find it. No, oh, maybe I did it. Never mind. Text select, do that one. Uh, move, I'll do the with the axe, and then the spade, I'll do link select, or the shovel. And once you're done, just click apply, and then you can you see it already changed, and just click OK. And then there you have your sword. Now you don't you can just get rid of this, I believe, or maybe just leave it in your downloads or whatever. I believe if you can get rid of like put it in the recycle bin and get rid of it. But if you put it in the recycle bin and get rid of it and then restart and it doesn't show up, that's probably your reason why. I haven't tested it, but best bet would just leave it in your downloads somewhere and just don't worry, you know, forget about it or whatever. Uh, there you go. So it works like it should. And you can change stuff around. Like this one, there's not that many for this. So there's a lot of options, like that little loading wheel you saw a second ago, that you can change uh, with like a bigger folder with more customizations in it. But that's pretty basic how to do it. Uh, you guys should be able to walk yourselves through it once you, you have more options to do. So that should be it. So thank you everyone for watching, and hopefully I'll get back to making more videos. So see you guys in the next one.